some parts of Amazon have lost at least 35% of their employees in the past year. One of the reasons the company Amazon is battling an attrition crisis that insiders say has led at least 35% turnover in some divisions. One major reason is that the company does not reward loyalty, according to former employees. Management principles baked into Amazon's founding culture have made it difficult for employees to get promotions and raises. These people say Amazon has long had a goal of hiring missionaries see people zealous about working at Amazon even though the pay lags rivals see not mercenaries. And frugality is one of Amazon's 16 vaunted principles. Those ideals are now clashing with a falling share price. High expectations for employee performance during the pandemic. And an intense talent war. Insiders say. Those who spoke to Insider for this story asked not to be identified discussing sensitive topics. The higher attrition is starting to strain Amazon operations. Said one longtime manager in Amazon's consumer division WHOS Scene 30 percent of the engineers on his team live in the past for months. Combining this elevated turnover with a ridiculous hiring process, and we are likely to have understaffed teams for a long time, he said. Turnover among us based Amazon Web Services engineers was at least 35 percent last year, according to two insiders. An Amazon spokesperson said that was overstated without providing specific data. Attrition across the company is typically 6 percent to 8 percent a year according to a former executive at Amazon. Promotions are difficult to get, and the pay bump they come with doesn't always seem to match the new responsibilities. Outside hires are often paid more than longtime Amazonians in the same role. Employees said, Amazon was founded by an individual who has no interest in developing. Employees, said a senior AWS engineer who left late last year after nearly a decade at the company, though he said he loved working at Amazon. He had been denied a promotion he felt he deserved. And he had an attractive offer from an Amazon competitor. I don't believe Jeff Bez cared one fig about his employees or about HR. For him, HR was like the KGB. And it operates that way. Bezos relinquished the CEO role last year, becoming executive chair. In his final CEO letter to shareholders, he defended Amazon's treatment of workers but said the company needs a better for how. We create value for employees a vision for their success. Employees and managers say that in their experience, Amazon will factor share price growth into decisions on whether to give raises or bonuses, leaving employees feeling like their individual effort won't be rewarded. One former senior AWS employee said Amazon bakes in a 15% assumption of share price gains every year, but that doesn't always happen. In the past year, for instance, Amazon shares have fallen more than 10%. In the absence of rising equity, salary increases can be difficult to come by. Employees say, the perception among many Amazonians is that the only way to receive a meaningful salary bump is to boomerang, quit Amazon, and then return it in a more highly paid role. Employees underscored that perception in a discussion about raises on an internal Amazon Slack channel in early January. According to screenshots seen by Insider, I think a lot of people will be sad to see less than inflation raises and won't know what to do. One employee wrote, we all know what to do. Another employee replied, a response that was met with 11 boomerang emojis. Amazon's lackluster raises do not incentivize employees to stay with the company, said one current Amazon employee in the company's operations division. Over the four years has been with Amazon, has been promoted from an hourly warehouse associate to a salaried program manager. He earns about $60,000 annually, he said, plus some Amazon stock. But external hires for the same role, he said, are earning more than $100,000, not including equity grants they get. He's actively looking for new jobs outside of Amazon, he said, and has received offers that would double his current salary. They take advantage of you by paying you less when you're an internal transfer or when you are promoted internally, he said. They're always looking for ways to pay you less. The same happens at senior leadership levels. According to a current executive, this person said Amazon pays more for a new hire than it does for retaining existing employees, often juicing the compensation with significantly bigger stock awards. The private Slack channel for Amazon Canada employees erupted in December after the company declined to address compensation-related questions during a town hall meeting. As Insider previously reported, one of the topics raised in the Slack channel was about the pay difference between new and existing employees. 
One person theorized that the discrepancy is likely because promoted employees start at the bottom of their new pay bands, while new hires are often brought into the upper half of the position's pay range. Still, this person said, the pay disparity can be demoralizing when boomeranging around everywhere is the most efficient way to more comp. Of course, with that logic, there's very little motivation to get promoted or work on career growth, this person wrote.